Welcome back. Let's check out this quiz problem from the last time that we played. Uh, I played this game. I made some sort of a mistake. And this will quiz me not only what did I do wrong, but how could I have played better? If I did my post-game analysis, I'd know the answers to these things instead of having to guess them. So this is a test of how much post-game analysis did I actually do. So in the game, I played one of these two moves, either gold advances to 4-7 from 4-8, or silver advances um, from 5-9 up to 5-8. So one of these was played, the other was not played, and whichever was played was the mistake. I remember in the game moving the silver and then having an awful reaction that, oh wait, this rook now just escapes and promotes and wreaks all kind of havoc. Therefore, this is like the way to not make a mistake. Um, yeah, and then this position is survivable. Oh, if they try to escape the rook like that, yeah, fine. But uh, I guess here there might be some threat to trap the rook somehow. Or otherwise, just having the rook in hand is extraordinarily powerful. But in the game, we saw something much more like this, where it was suddenly even. And this dragon invaded my position, and it was really painful. So don't let the rook escape and promote. Um, I'm not sure why they would retreat like this. I guess they're trying to gain the initiative because the silver is threatened. Um, there must be some trick whereby moving back the rook one square forces a pawn drop, and then it retreats another square, and then the horse comes and attacks the rook, and then you have the bishop and the horse attacking the silver together, and something like that is, must be forcing their hand to, uh, like, sack the rook for a silver, because all the alternatives are just sad. So, that was what we missed last time. Can we do better today? Let's find out. Let's play some games. Um, if feasible, we'll attempt to play Central Falrook Strategy, because it's always fun to play and always fun to watch, right? Good luck. Here we go. Alright, we've already gone off Joseki. It occurs to me, since they're trying to advance this bishop out, they're probably going to complement it with a rook movement. Um, so I want to hit the bishop before it can be joined by the rook. Um, so in that spirit, uh, we can strike the bishop right away. And I could even push this pawn, but I think that's a bit dangerous. Um... I mean, what they've done is extremely dangerous. They're playing with fireworks, so let's just bring our rook out and see what's going to fight against the rook today. Um, <laughs> Alright, so yeah, they intend to use their rook to assist their bishop. Um... I guess my silver can't assist my bishop here. I guess that's the point. I'm playing one defensive move because I'm getting just a bit nervous about this. Okay. <clears throat> this is beyond bizarre. So... Normally, I try to play my pawn to 5-5, five five, but my opponent seems extremely um, convinced that they should try to prevent that pawn move. So I'm going to try something different. Um, if I move my silver up, they're going to play a pawn to help this bishop escape. 
Hmm. Why am I so impatient here? They're the one with an uncomfortable position, not me. Let's expose my rook. Let's be happy. Let's be content. Right, so they have to drop the pawn. And we just drop back the rook, and everything's fine. It's a nice, calm position. Yeah, they're trying to make some waves here. But I've got everything covered. Um, that creates a hole in their position. I guess I could um, force them to make another hole. And then if I get a bishop, then it's not a terrible situation for me. Um, so let's prepare to get a bishop. I'm not sure how dangerous that is. Oh, right, the silver can join in this attack. Okay. None of this them. is way more than I reckoned for. Uh, interesting. Schnikes. <sighs> well, how do we fight this? There is one way I can fight it. Um, the not so obvious way. I think other attempts to fight this result in a really difficult fight. This one I think I survive. Um, yeah, my bishop has to run. Um, Obviously, this is not what I had in mind at the outset of the game. But, um, I seem to be surviving against a 4Q, so yay me. Um, so I can bring my silver forward and then continue attacking. And not worry so much about material at this point. They might push this to hit my rook. They don't. Um, I was also concerned that they might bring the bishop out through the center to make some waves. They didn't do that either. Um, consequently, this point is not the easiest point to defend. They might bring the knight out to hit my rook. I could maybe drop back the rook to hit the silver. Maybe not. Um, they could still bring the knight out to hit my rook. I have no defense against that. Hmm. Well, let's create a defense, I guess. Wait, the rook blocks this bishop. They could drop back the rook, however. Alright, you know, I'm feeling ambitious. I'm feeling that um, oh. I thought they were going to use their knight. I guess in retrospect it doesn't really matter which piece they use. But when I say I'm feeling ambitious, I think I can take this point right in front of their king. Welcome. So, if I can take that um, and occupy it with my most powerful pieces, what can they do to stop me? Gofun. All right, forward we go. Oh, right, they have another piece they can defend with. I forgot about that one. Um, hmm. Which means, in turn, I actually don't outnumber them. 
Um, Knight, gold, silver, gold, rook, bishop, gold, nah. It's no good. So next they could push this pawn to hit my knight. Um, I don't have an answer for that. Not yet, anyway. If I move the silver up and try to exchange here and drop there, um, those tactics don't work. Oh, I found a tactic. It's sketchy, but I think it's good enough. Oh, wow. Voluntarily abandoning defense because my attack is overwhelming. An interesting concept. Um, or threatening to attack my rook next. That's more likely what they're trying to do here. I don't think that's how this works out, however. Um... If I advance this, that they hit my rook, I don't need to worry about any of that. I can just defend my rook. They should escape their king. Like they should have done that a while ago. This further cuts off their bishop, so we're going to play the obvious attacking move and not think much more about it. Yeah, well, it's a learning experience, isn't it? Maybe not. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that move. I'm going to see if their king steps over here. King does step over... Oh, crap. My attacking idea is not... well planned. Um... I had plans. The plans were wrong. It's not great. Um... Okay, we're going to fight back against this bishop. This could get really messy very quickly. I'm banking on their king being too exposed here. Um, okay, so first, I attack your bishop. And I attack your rook. And then we take a moment to calm down and assess what's happened over the last way too many moves here. Um, no. So they keep building a stronger attack, I keep building a stronger attack as well. Here they have one free move to do anything, and they can't do anything useful with that free move. 
My position is so overwhelming that the free move doesn't help them. But it does build my attack further. I mean, they could take this pawn. It doesn't save them. Mm -hmm. So I take a bishop. I promote back here and take another piece. And then this silver is pinned, so I take another silver. Mode over here. Attack the rook. Once the rook takes back here. Um, goodness. Oh, wait, never mind. My mouse slip has saved me. Thanks for the game. I mean, sure, there must have been some forcing sequence after I take that, but um, I found the mate in one. It only took me like three tries to find it, but uh, that was me finding it. Thanks for the game. Good luck. So this is a sharp position right out the gate. Oh, hang on. Um, I accept your offer. This is why we move the king first. I've done this before. Please be careful. That said, I mean, this isn't winning or anything. This is just convenient uh, for me more than it's convenient for my opponent. Let's continue this attack. So this silver is protected by this pawn. This pawn's next to this rook. Um, one way I could continue is by dropping a lance here, take the knight, and then try to do something more. A better way is for me to take this silver. Um, or if the silver moves away, then I could take a pawn and be attacking the king on both sides. Um, yes, yeah, so they offer this silver. I accept. Um, next we uh, target this knight. Let's see. So if I take that, if Rook takes, I don't have a mate. Um, so instead, I'm just going to try to trap this knight. Um, knights are tricky pieces. Alright. Um... I'm a bit concerned if they drop something right in front of my rook. Let's 
Okay, so I'm going to defend this point a second time. I might end up taking this knight in some circumstances. Maybe this means that I've misplayed everything. It's possible that my silver drop was much too heavy or should have been over here instead. I don't know. We play these games to learn something, not just to play an opening trap. So, if I lose the game, that's fine. As long as I'm learning something, that's what counts. Um, this tries to build pressure next to my king. I observe that this knight has nowhere to go. Maybe I should have done that last turn. I do not know. They could be trying to target this uh, silver somehow. Or maybe my king walks into some horrible fork and when I'm not looking. And maybe I need to be careful about that. Um, they do have pressure down the center file. If I take there, they could drop right in front of my rook, which would be unpleasant. So I'll attack the best I know how to attack here. Um, they have two pieces attacking this square. I have two defending it. If they add a third attacker by piece drop, I'm not winning that. Um, I have one pawn in hand. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Nanafun. Okay, I'll use my gold to defend this square. It doesn't feel right. Um, Alright. They don't have a fork. What a messy position, honestly. My horse is still doing nothing in the corner. Right, so they increase their attack on this square. Um, I could drop a pawn here to decrease that attack. I could drop a knight here to decrease that attack as well. Now this, this looks right. Then I remove the attacker this way. There's so many combinations to watch out for, but since my opponent doesn't have a knight, the scariest of those combinations aren't present. If I were to drop a knight and try to greedily win material, this could backfire in a hurry. Um, They have many active pieces, and I don't. Okay, this strikes right in front of my king. Hmm.
Not sure how to proceed. Go Fun. Well, maybe I shouldn't be so afraid of losing material. All right, let's try this. So it's very possible that somewhere in this combination I do lose material. Um, but also I'm moving in on their king, so... There's some kind of balance there, right? What I think I want to do is take here, bring the horse over, and see if I can drop a... No, I don't have time for both this fork and a mate threat in this. So, like, best case, I'm winning the rook. I'm not getting their king. That's if they leave the gold here. If they don't leave... Oh. Wow. Okay. Tactics, tactics everywhere. Um, I'll try to defend my king and unblock my rook. And so now they finally have a silver. All right, they do the sacrifice. They have two pieces in hand. Um, if I exchange everything, do Something. I lose? <sighs> I'm trying to judge how much danger I'm in, how much danger they're in. I think I have time for this, unblocking my rook. And then we threaten mate in one. Um, so they might be threatening my rook. They might be threatening a lot of things here. Uh, they're actually threatening this right next to my king. <clears throat> Maybe I should have calmed down a little bit. Maybe it didn't matter. Right. So this is what I've been looking closely at. Um, Hmm. There's not an obvious mate here. I'll 
not defend my king. Thanks for the game. Alright, that was sharp. Two games down, one to go. Let's do this. Good luck. Alright, perhaps the lesson from last game is that I should be calming down a bit. But how exciting is that? Alright, so our opponent flusters um, my immediate idea. Um, I block the bishop this way. Alright. Hmm. So I want to take a pawn in the center of the board. Um, we're getting more than we wanted now. By a lot. So this is not easy for them to defend without interesting things happening on this board. I should just get my king out of here. And then we could worry about the best sequence later. Um, well, you got me stumped. All right. Curiosity killed the cat. Let's do this. <laughs> How much trouble do I get in for pursuing something? Modestly exciting. Alright, they protect my against my silver attack. Um, at this point, I cut off their rook. Alright, they proceed their knight a normal way. Sure. Let's drop the rook back. Oh, I should maybe had this check earlier. Maybe not. Either way, my silver is in the wrong spot, so <laughs> I'm amused by what they're doing. Um, some sort of floating fortress. Not everybody's first choice, but maybe well suited to the situation. Because I blocked my bishop and I blocked my center pawn. So, I'm not playing this right either. Yeah, so they intend to bring their rook over here where their bishop's at. That's the plan. Um, and it's my plan to try to frustrate that plan somehow. Um, this is somewhat incredible. I think they mistimed everything here. Hmm. All right, we're going to have a little bit of excitement, and by a little, I mean way too much. Um, so they could push this pawn on their king's head. Uh, maybe should. I don't know. I thought I had a compelling next move here. I misread something. Mm hmm. I misread an important detail here. Nana. 
Alright, so they can drop a pawn to stop my attack. And now they have no pawns in hand. So we're both in a situation where neither of us has an immediate attack. Oh, okay. Jeez. That's possible. Um, I did not expect that. Let's push this in case I need it later. You're doing my work for me. How polite. All right. Do they want a bishop exchange for some reason? I can't imagine why. Um, pawn drop, pawn takes, pawn push, takes, silver take, yeah. I'm confused. Um, pawn drop, pawn takes, pawn up, silver up, silver takes, silver takes. Yeah, okay, this is not smart. So my best path forward is this slightly not obvious thing. Mm-hmm. All right, I offer a bishop exchange. Looks like right hand king we're saying. Yeah, I guess so. Whatever they're doing, maybe I just haven't seen this enough, but it doesn't seem to have any punch. So maybe I just don't know how it punches. Or maybe I'm right. Um. Gofun. All right, let's exchange bishops. And then promote my bishop. I've got to dance halfway around the board to make that happen, but it happens. They defend their pawn. All right, so I try to break their castle. That doesn't stop me from breaking their castle. All right. What's their next move? This pawn's still hanging. Mm -hmm. I accept your bishop exchange offer.
Back I go. This does allow a bishop drop. I'm not alarmed about it. Um, Something. That's a fork. Now I'm alarmed. But it's too late. Mm -hmm. All right. Very clever. <laughs> what the hell do I do now? Let's try to break this edge. Nifun. That was the trap. I see we have two trappers present in this game. My opponent sent some nasty tactics, and I can return the favor. But it's not even that good for me. I'm thinking. My bishop needs to activate. Back we go. Now they don't have a horse or a knight. Um, still a rough position. I have thoughts. I'm not sure how good they are.
30秒My opponent is playing a very defensive style. It reminds me of my own style of play. Where you try to like make everything calm. And it just never works. <laughs> the problem is I have 20 seconds left and not a plan. So that's kind of a problem. Dropping the knight might have been too heavy. Sacking the bishop might have been too heavy. I don't know. That might have been the wrong move. I have, like, no time to think and no time to plan. Um, maybe it's fine. Let's see if we can bluff them into a retreat. We can. This isn't mate. I thought this was mate. Because I can't read. Thanks for the game. Wi-Fi. Ooh. All right. I, yeah, I did thank them for this game. Yeah, that was our third game today, so you came just in time to see uh, game number three. Yeah, they're on their way to Wondon. Um, obviously, they've got a lot of skill. We're going to have to look closer at that last game. But hope we enjoyed these games. Uh, thanks for watching.